Can you define a bank? Well, many people think the bank stops at keeping their money safe. It is true the bank keeps people's money safe, but it goes beyond that in its operations. In this video, the money and business entrepreneur will share with you everything you need to know about banks and how they do operate. Banks play a crucial role in the economy by accepting deposits from individuals, businesses, and organizations. When you deposit money into a bank account, you're essentially lending your money to the bank. This trust allows banks to utilize these deposits to provide loans to other customers who require funds for various purposes, such as purchasing a home, launching a business, or funding education. In return for depositing money into a bank account, the bank pays you interest, acknowledging your contribution. Conversely, when the bank lends money to borrowers, it charges them interest, which constitutes a significant portion of the bank's revenue and profitability. To ensure financial stability and meet customer demands, banks are mandated to keep a portion of their deposits as reserves. These reserves act as a safety net, ensuring that banks have sufficient cash on hand to fulfill withdrawal requests from customers and maintain stability in the financial system. Through fractional reserve banking, banks can lend out more money than they physically possess in reserves. For instance, if a bank has $100 in deposits and a reserve requirement of 10%, it can lend out $90 while retaining $10 as reserves. This system allows banks to stimulate economic activity by facilitating lending and investment. When banks issue loans, they effectively create new money in the economy. This is because the money borrowed by the borrower is deposited into their account, making it available for someone else to borrow or spend. Thus, banks play a pivotal role in expanding the money supply and driving economic growth. Modern banking transactions primarily occur electronically, through online banking platforms, ATMs, or debit or credit cards. These electronic transactions provide customers with convenient access to their accounts, enabling them to make payments or transfers seamlessly. Banks operate within a framework of safety and regulations imposed by government agencies to ensure their sound operation and fair practices. These regulations encompass requirements for capital reserves, restrictions on risky activities, and measures to protect consumers' interests. In many countries, deposit insurance programs, such as the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation FDIC, in the United States, safeguard customers' deposits in the event of a bank failure. This insurance provides reassurance to depositors and enhances confidence in the banking system. Moreover, banks engage in interbank transactions to manage their reserves and facilitate the movement of funds between different financial institutions. These transactions include activities such as interbank lending and clearing and settling payments through central bank systems, contributing to the smooth functioning of the financial ecosystem. So that's some of the basic information you need to know about banking and we hope it has given you some new perspective concerning the bank and banking at large. So anytime you deposit your money in the bank, never forget that you are actually lending them. Isn't that interesting? Like the video and leave your comment in case you have any. And feel free to join our supportive group of entrepreneurs. See you in the next video.